Port have re-entered rallying on this event in the form of a sapphire driven here by specially imported British driver Tony Pond. This good-looking car in these capable hands could do anything. Ford's move into rallying comes at a time when Sorrel van der has reportedly confirmed a move from the Volkswagen camp. Adding to the drama up front is the Pond Leak Sapphire, which is currently lying fourth and only 30 seconds behind Hall and Buerta. But their problem is not what lies ahead, rather the charging Glenn Gibbons just two minutes behind. The tar stages suit Tony Pond's driving style, and the crowd appreciates the spectacle. Tony Pond's experience on tar roads like this one on stage 23 shows on the scoreboard, as he wins the stage by 14 seconds. This is bad news for Glenn Gibbons, who, in Duval's absence, needs a place in the top order for Toyota. Clearly, the fight of the day is to be Toyota against Ford. Favour Gibbons in the more powerful four-wheel drive Toyota. The rear-wheel drive Ford Sapphire, driven by Tony Pond, is equally thrilling for the crowd. Pond currently holds the record time around the Isle of Man on four wheels, and it's with some surprise that Glyn Hall and Glenn Gibbons post an equally fast time on the stage, one minute and 53 seconds. The penultimate stage is here at the new Acacia Flat Track Raceway. We pick up on the now fourth-placed Ford as Pond pilots the Sapphire through this unique stage. Credit must be given to Pond and Leak, who, together with the Ford Motorsport team, have done an incredible job in their return to competitive national rallying. The drive of the